Hey, what's up everyone? My name is David Arroyo and in this video we're gonna have a look at why I think Blender 2.8 is awesome. Now Blender 2.8 is currently in the beta phase so it's not fully finished but it is a massive jump compared to Blender 2.79. Uh, now I do have a 3D background as I started as a 3D artist. I used to work with Maya, which I still think is an absolutely great software application. Uh, I think it's still amazing for animation, for rendering, for all sorts of stuff. And you know, it's still the industry standard in terms of film and animation. So, you know, two thumbs up for Maya. But in this video, I really want to explain why Blender 2.8 is so great and why I gradually started to make the shift towards Blender 2.8 and why it is pretty much becoming my 3D standard package to go to. So let's have a dive into it and I'll explain why Blender 2.8 is so amazingly awesome. Now before I begin, I would like to make it 100% clear that Blender is a free product. You can download this from the blender.org website and every feature that you're about to see in this video is 100% free no added charge. Okay, so let's have a quick look at Blender 2.8 and why I think it's so amazingly awesome. Now, for those of you that have been around, you will see that Blender 2.79 is the stable version of Blender. It's This is what it looks like. Uh, it's a little bit more old school, and when you use the left mouse button click, you end up uh, moving the 3D cursor, you know, all the selections have to be done with the right mouse button. It's a little bit strange. Not a lot of people uh, were okay with that. Now, that didn't mean that the software was not good. Blender 2.79 is still an amazing piece of software, but very, very important changes have happened in Blender 2.8, and you can see Blender 2.8 right here. Okay, so Blender 2.8 gives you, for example, right now also the EV uh, render shading, uh, which makes a big difference because now when I move around lights, for example, you know, you can see it uh, immediate. Now, this doesn't really do it any justice. I'll show one of my own files that I've been working on. This is a file that I have been building for um, a webcomic of mine called Reset. I do quite some studies for some of these uh, scenes, and this is one of the scenes that I know that there's going to be an action sequence in this uh, environment. So I wanted to create the environment first so that I could study all my shots and did some paint overs, you know, just for some tests in here and there. But the cool thing that I really like about this is that when I select, say, one of the lights, so these are lights, for example, and I want to select, uh, you know, you see how the shadows and everything changes? Uh, well, I can do that for every single light. I can do all these type of things. It's super, super useful, and I really like that. So that helps quite a lot. I can position myself in any place of the scene and you know set up the camera and you know take a render shot or any of the things that I really like. So I'll show you really quickly what I mean uh, by paint over. So I did a paint over. This is the scene. And, you know, here's the paint over that I made, you know, just to give myself a bit of an idea of, okay, what it looks like. Now, for those of you that want to know what my reset uh, webcomic looks like, you can just go to the website and see uh, exactly, you know, the style. You'll see that the style is more or less reminiscent to what the preview here is. So, you know, you can immediately see why for me, this type of stuff was very useful to do as a test. Now, taking it back to Blender, uh, where I can do all my shots and tests and, you know, I can move to anywhere I want uh, within this entire scene. Um, say, for example, I wanted to focus at the lower floor. I could do that perfectly here and get a completely different shot for a different moment in the action sequence. So very useful, very, very powerful. That's one of the reasons why I would use uh, Blender, for example. Now, another one um, is, for example, 2D art and animation. There are other ways of, like, you know, creating some concept art instead of just, uh, you know, the traditional way. And one of them is with the grease pencil. The grease pencil 
is something that I really, really like. So first, let me quickly show you what the Grease Pencil can do just for animation. So the following file is not a file that's mine. It's made by the people at Blender and they're making some really, really cool uh, project here. It's an animation and it's done completely inside Blender. So, you know, if I were to press uh, play, this is what you see. This is completely done within Blender. Okay, very impressive because if I start moving around, this is really what's happening. You know, this is the file. Uh, as you can see, I'll play it in wireframe if you want. Uh, it goes a bit faster. You can see how the camera is moving, um, you know, towards the, the uh, protagonist. And you can clearly see how, you know, the animation has been played out. So if I go back to zero, this is what you get in an animation sequence. So very, very impressive stuff. That's the kind of things you can do with a grease pencil. There are also more examples like, uh, for example, uh, was this one. Very nice. And this is all inside Blender. And let me not, you know, let, let us not forget that all this is for free. So here's the sequence. Amazing 2D animation sequence. I really like it. I'm a big fan of 2D animation. And, you know, for those of you out there that like 2D animation as well, now you have options within Blender to make some really cool stuff. I mean, again, you know, this is now the 3D file. Everything can be selected. Everything can be, you know, played with. Uh, you can see, you know, it's, it's literally just a really, really cool setup. It's all smokes and mirrors, obviously, uh, until you set up the camera in the right place. Uh, you know, and then you can see the whole animation sequence. Very, very, very impressive. So that's another thing that you can do within Blender. Uh, very, very good stuff. Now, to show you um, how you can, for example, use that within concept art, uh, well, I've got some very, very nice um, concept art here by Yama Yurabayev. And, you know, uh, this is from a tutorial uh, that he has put up on Gumroad. I'll leave a link in the description below. But this is really cool concept art. You know, with Grease Pencil, you can basically draw in 3D as well, kind of like drawing with your VR and, you know, get some really amazing results to just get your point across, you know, for um, all kinds of projects, uh, you know, that you want to share with your clients and stuff like that. So all of this, again, still within Blender and still for free. Very good stuff. Now, the last part is about sculpting. Now, sculpting is something that I haven't done too much yet. I am also following a course on this to, you know, catch up a little bit uh, within Blender. I've done sculpting uh, within ZBrush, but um, I really wanted to show this stuff also in Blender just so that you can see what you can, all, you know, the type of stuff that you can uh, achieve. And again, I really, really like, you know, the, um, the results. I mean, this is something done by, uh, let me see, because his name I do not know. So you'll be able to Julian Kaspar, really impressive, uh, you know, artist uh, from Amsterdam, does really cool sculpts and pretty much works in Blender. I'm not sure if he does that all the time, but I am very, very sure that, you know, at least all these files, they're all done in Blender and, you know, they're amazing. Uh, he's a really good artist. You could do a lot of things here. And it's, again, it's a sculpting, you know, platform. It's for free. It's part of it. You know, you don't have to get a ZBrush uh, next to it or anything. And like I said, you know, you can move around. It's, it's an actual sculpt. You know, when I click on it, when I click on the file and say I were to go to wireframe mode, you know, you can see all the, all the detail. You know, it's quite, it's quite detailed. You know, it's, it's, it's the real deal. So very impressive stuff um, that I really, really like to see as well. Now, the cool thing about Blender is that you can download a lot of things for free. The community is really big. There is a very big online community. These files, for example, I can download for free. Uh, I can also download a lot of these files from the Grease Pencil for free so that I can like, you know, learn myself. There are tons of tutorials out there. Uh, I will also leave some of these in the descriptions below. Very useful. And there are a lot of people using this stuff. You know, like I said, uh, one of the other, um, you know, paint overs that I did were purely based on some work. Let me see if I can, there we go. We're based on the work of Paul O. Kagegi or Kagegi. I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name, buddy. 
He is on YouTube and he has a really cool channel about how to, you know, work with tune shaders within Blender and freestyle uh, lines. So, you know, the options are very, very, you know, they're very professional. I rendered this out with his file, with his Blender file, and I painted over it really quickly, you know, to get a, a bit of a... Um, you know, comic book feel or more of a comic book feel because this already feels like a comic book, but I wanted to push push it even further and really give it that, you know, 100%. Now, I'm sure that Paul can create a lot of really cool shaders. You should check his, um, you know, his YouTube channel. Uh, I will leave a link in the description below as well. But basically, all of these things that I've just shown you right now and, you know, the paint overs and, you know, all that fun stuff, that is why I think Blender is so awesome. And the good thing about Blender, let's take you really quickly to it. You know, Blender, I mean, it's free. It's 100% free. You know, you can just download the Blender 2.79, which is the one that you saw earlier, or you go to downloads right here and you can start downloading Try Blender 2.8 Beta. It's in beta, you know, so you there might still be some bugs, but it is extremely, extremely fun. You know, you get so much stuff for your value. You know, you're, you're it's free. It's 100% free. You know, you've, you've got all the cool little things that you can do here. Uh, they have a lot of content. Uh, you have your EV uh, render engine right now that you can see, you know, I mean, in, in all your lighting, all your stuff, you can see it now in your render engine. It has amazing 2D animation like what you saw. I really recommend that you watch this, uh, you know, this, this, this cartoon as well and all this stuff. So, there you have it. This is my reason why I think Blender 2.8 is so amazing. I strongly recommend uh, for anyone of you out there that want to get into, you know, that want to try to implement 3D into your, um, you know, workflow and, you know, you don't want to spend any money. Well, you know, Blender's got it all and it is really good. I mean, I've seen some really, really amazing things coming out of like, you know, uh, Blender. So I'd say give it a go. You got nothing to lose. It's for free compared to, for example, if you were to get a Maya or a 3ds Max, you know, these licenses are not cheap. You'll see for yourself. They have, um, you know, subscription. They, they are on subscription based uh, licenses. You can also buy perpetual, but it's quite expensive. OK, so that's that's my two cents on Blender 2.8 and why I think it's absolutely awesome. And so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's my take on Blender 2.8. And I'm extremely excited to see what uh, the Blender Foundation is going to do next uh, in, you know, in which direction it's going to go. But it's looking very, very promising so far. So let me know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, you know, do you want to work with Blender or do you work with Blender? Uh, do you prefer Maya? Do you prefer, you know, ZBrush, for example, for sculpting? Uh, all these type of things, you know, let me know and we can take it from there. If you like this type of content, as usual, leave a like and subscribe. And you can also click on that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. And thank you very much for stopping by. Have a nice one, guys.